Hi everyone, let us discuss this result. In this result, we have a matrix space XD. We have a sequence Xn in XD, which is Cauchy, which is convergent also. And we have to prove that it has convergent subsequence. Getting? Actually, here we are going to prove if Xn is Cauchy and convergent, then every subsequence of Xn is convergent. I have written a given information. Xn is Cauchy. It is convergent. You know that if sequence is convergent, definitely it converges to some point. I am calling it as X. Okay. So we have to prove that it has a convergent subsequence. So let us take any subsequence of Xn. Let Xn k be any subsequence of Xn. Okay. So I am considering one subsequence of Xn. We are going to prove it is convergent and converges to X. Let me mention here, we will prove that we will prove that XNK, XNK converges to X. So we will prove that it is convergent and converges to what? X. Obviously, using epsilon definition, we are going to finish it. So for that, we need to have one epsilon. Let us take one epsilon here. Let epsilon greater than 0 be given. Will you guess my next step? So obviously what we do after that, we use the given information. So let us use given information one by one. The first information is Xn is Cauchy. So let me mention here, we have, we have Xn is Cauchy, right? So you are familiar with definition of Cauchy sequence. In Cauchy sequence, what we say, for given epsilon greater than zero, right? But see, already we have one epsilon, so I should mention for above epsilon greater than zero. So therefore, for above epsilon greater than zero, there exists n belongs to set of natural number. Okay, so let me write it here. We have some space, let us use. Such that, let me mention here, such that d of xn comma xm less than epsilon for all n m greater than or equal to capital n okay so let me call it as one so using definition of cauchy sequence we got this one but see here i am going to do a small adjustment that adjustment is instead of epsilon i am calling it as epsilon by two since what is meaning of epsilon it's it represents a very small positive real number and epsilon by 2 has the same meaning, so we can replace epsilon by epsilon by 2, okay? That's it. After that, yes, we use the first information. What is the second information? The second information is Xn is convergent and converges to X. Let us use, so we have, let me mention here, we have Xn converges to X. So here, obviously, I'm going to use definition of convergent sequence. It says for given epsilon greater than zero, but again, my question is same. Already we have epsilon now. So what will we do? We will write for above epsilon greater than zero. So therefore, for above epsilon greater than zero, there exists n belongs to set of natural number. But see, the problem is that already I have taken one n natural number. Again, I'm writing the same n. So actually both natural numbers can be different. So let me call it as n1 and we will call it as n2 such that tell me what I should write here by definition of convergent sequence we can write d of x n comma x less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to n2 this is inequality number 2. Again I will do the same adjustment that is, is instead of epsilon I will write epsilon by 2 getting but the problem is that inequality number 1 is true for n1 inequality number two is true for n2 actually we have to use both inequalities simultaneously so for that i should take n which is a maximum of n1 and n2 then uh, that both inequalities will be true for that n right so let me write here let n is equal to maximum of n1 and n2 so we can clearly mention here therefore one and two will be true will be true for this n okay will be true for this n getting this is a very important statement i have written so for this n one and two will be true so still you remember our target our target is to prove that subsequence xnk is convergent and converges to x so for that purpose 
I am going to consider now d of x and k comma x. So let me mention here consider d of x and k comma x. Okay. After that, I am going to use triangle inequality. You remember in a definition of metric space, we have already stated triangle inequality. That means if you have three points x, y, z, then d of x, z is less than or equal to d of x, y plus d of y, z. So here we have two points. So let us consider one more point x, k. Okay. So what can I write here? This is less than or equal to d of x, n, k, comma, x, k plus d of x, k, comma, x. So by tri triangle inequality, we can write it. Okay. So see, there is no more space to write. Make a screenshot of it first. Then we will go further. So I have removed this part only since we are going to use that part, right? So what can we write after that? So this is less than. See x n k and x k we have, right? So we have a pattern like this x n and x m. So we can write this is less than epsilon by 2. So what is the condition we have? That is our n k. So you know that it is subsequence. No, it is subsequence. So n k will be obviously greater than or equal to k and if our k is greater than or equal to n then x n k and k both of them will be greater than or equal to n so that's why we can use this one what it says if n and m if we have two suffix n and m if both both of them are greater than or equal to n then this one will be true right so here also we have the same so that's why we can write this is less than epsilon by 2 but see now if i use 2 here so n is greater than n2 into that means here we have taken the maximum of n1 and n2 n so both of them will be true for n so k is greater than or equal to n so by inequality number 2 i can write this is less than epsilon by 2 getting i should mention here from uh, 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 so epsilon by 2 plus epsilon by 2 epsilon so what is our conclusion let me mention here so therefore d of x n k comma x we started with this one getting and finally what we got we got this is less than epsilon for all n k obviously k is also k greater than or equal to n so this is nothing uh, definition of convergent sequence what can we say x n k converges to x so therefore x n k is convergent and converges to x so here we selected any subsequence of xn and we proved that it is convergent and converges to x. So therefore we can conclude xn has convergent subsequence. Let me mention here. So therefore I have written a conclusion here that given sequence xn has convergent subsequence. Make a screenshot of it then we will stop. Thank you. Bye bye.